Ahoy there, I'm Dani Pirate and welcome to Mega Aquarium. This is by uh, Tim who also did Big Farmer, which was a great game. And it's about running an aquarium and I've just done the very basic tutorial. I'm going to move on to the next tutorial because it starts to get a little bit more interesting. And uh, yeah, we get through some, some better stuff. So we've got to run an aquarium, research fish and acquire new stuff. So we have ecology points to worry about, science points to unlock gear. And this is the basic layout of our very first aquarium. In my mind, it's kind of terrible. So we're going to do a little bit of modifying before we get much further. And the first thing I want to do is just tear down a bunch of this kind of random stuff. Um, yeah, that, that is a bit better. So here we have tanks. They've got little fishies in them. And you see, I can I can say hello. Hello. Hello, adorable fishy. We have fishies in them. We have equipment attached. So this, for example, is a filter and heater. And it'll heat the water up and provide a degree of quality and take some repair. Here's fish food. And if I click on this, I can see that uh, these fish require temperature gotta be not too bad greater than its volume I don't know they're not complaining that's what matters and it requires some water quality and this tank has 18 which is more than 15 the volume and it has 56 water quality and it's mostly full of fish and it produces a little bit of ecology points from people looking at the fish and and looking at the tank itself with its piece of driftwood in it so it's a pretty okay sort of fish tank it's not very well decorated here are some others with filters and fish food this one over here has poor water quality and i can see that um, we've got some yellow tangs in it we'll get onto the fish soon this one doesn't have enough water quality to keep them properly happy and the yellow tang itself is a pretty normal kind of fish and this one has these Arabian uh, bluefin dotty bags, and they're bullies, so they will pester any fish that's got wimp classification. So we do have to sort of watch out for interesting things like that. Um, one of the things I'm going to do straight away is I'm probably going to move this tank along. Now, is it worth moving along slightly? Uh, just just one is fine all right so well let's get rid of that first and then we'll move this over i know that people can't see down the side of it because it is this weird little observer tank style but that's okay for now i just want to get so here's the filters and heaters no what do i want i want a power filter power filter will make this water cleaner and then our guests will be able to come in and, and sort of check things out have a look at those little fishies we do need to get a bit more fish running and one of the things we need to look at is what have we got here we've got a moray eel and as you can see it produces quite a bit of science when it, it grows it'll grow to a size of nine which is pretty big and this tank for example can take uh 15. actually it's not a very big tank at all what is this one are they all size 15 tanks so one moray eel is pretty much going to fill it up it gets fed mussels and it will eat crustaceans if we had any. It doesn't require great water quality, but not too bad. It must must be temperature must be higher than than this than things as well. So we're going to put that in there. Uh, and so we got our first moray eel. It's going to grow. Yay! We, we uh, need to give it first of all a few things. It requires some decorations. So we can put a little driftwood cave in there, and we can also decorate with a little bit of the old sea lettuce and these are all things that our guests will appreciate when they look around and they're gonna they're gonna say wow what a great looking aquarium it's gorgeous we're gonna put in the mussels that feed them and i think we also over here need to put in a tool station do we need anything else right now i think that should be okay for them this one there's nothing in this one. So have we got any spare fishies we haven't already got? A royal grammar. I just want to see. Actually, I can see from here. Uh, it says we've got none of them. They require yellow fish food or yellow pellets. Uh, there are some over here. Um, let me just get rid of some of these. This fish tank isn't too badly not filled. So size three, it's pretty big. I might just make this the royal grammar tank. There we go, that's pretty fine. Need to hire a staff member to do some cooking and cleaning for us. Uh, that one. And that's 
probably I need a little bit more science actually and I didn't check so the Royal Grammar has science points assigned to it and there we go so open aquarium bam in come the people we've got wall tanks it's telling us yes we know they can be seen from one side and we can choose our next thing and I probably want to go for the for the group the grouper it will eat small fish and it can't be housed with it doesn't like its own species it can't be housed with other of its itself and this one as well can't be housed with others but this one comes with science points so we're going to go for that water quality here is an issue so what I'm actually going to do is uh, just okay so what do we want basic pump or a power combi we'll go with the basic pumps this is equipment we're researching with our science and I'll explain what the basic pump does later so we're going to just put these over here and we're just going to do this and I need to pause otherwise the uh, silly um, staff and well peasants will come running behind there so what about another filter and that should make that lot pretty happy yeah let's let's speed things up so I plan to play this for a little bit it's pretty entertaining uh, it's quite sort of yeah quite relaxing like Tim's games are Big Farmer was the same kind of fun puzzle set solving sort of stuff and this this does play a role in this so that's going to be amusing what I might do it kind of bugs me that we don't have uh, a wall here so maybe we'll do that yeah and that way people can if they want they can come in and have a look oh we should put down a bench for people to just watch our fish from they might enjoy that and we do want to have happy guests that does kind of matter um, there's not a perfect there we go not really a perfect layout to worry about right now i don't even think necessarily later on there would be either i am conscious that a lot of fish require food so it's definitely time for more feeding and cleaning and what have you so that we've got a new staff member i can control them as well i can bump up their feeding priorities there we go and uh, have them all dash about so the science is working the moray eel is probably growing. Well, where have we got you yet, pal? Have we got a moray eel yet? It's just hanging out in there, having a good time. Hey, moray, good to see you. I'll put some of the fish in there, but you might eat them. And that would be distressing and lose me fame points, which is no good. So the money's piling up. It's probably a good time to think about expanding things a little. Might I might grow this part over here and I might I think I will do that for now and actually one of the things I will do is uh, put a little put a little X here and put a staff door in let's give someone the option of getting back this way and down here we can put a wall and I think I'll just put a wall the whole way across for now what do we got for fish tanks so we can do corner tanks, I can do wall tanks, I can do observer tanks. So it would be maybe a good idea to put a corner tank in here. And I might just set that up now. Let me have a look. Which way around am I trying to get it? Uh, I have no idea. Okay, we're trying to do it like that. And we're going to go like that. So we can't build massive tanks yet. We can we can sort of get there soon i suspect but it isn't the, at present what we're going to be enjoying so we've got this corner tank in here we've got to get access to the back of it and then i might also want like an observer tank because i just think that looks uh that looks pretty sweet you we're gonna move you later you need to just like get over here and uh we'll put in a wall and a door all right that's probably enough money spent for now. Let me get rid of some of these interfaces. We need these fish to come along so that we can encourage our people to go have a look down there. Do I have some equipment? Um, a power heater? Is that going to power both of them? Oh, I have to choose? What? That kind of is terrible and annoying. Um that's okay I suppose well actually no we've got this research tech coming along so I can actually sort of join things up a little easier as you'll see 
power filter power filter our, our chaps are going to need access to the fish tank so they can feed them and the eel has grown excellent very good might put in some benches while we're here and people can enjoy the beautiful fishies there we go they do like to have a sit down i don't have any other stuff yet okay so we've got the we've got the fish tank what i could also put in now is uh put in some of this stuff decorations it'll help the this improves water quality those decorations decorations will just help everyone feel a bit more excited about seeing the seeing the little fishies in there fiddling around and some sea lettuce because why not all right so they're quite pretty pretty tanks but with no fish so here we go we're going to chuck this guy in he doesn't like to go in with any of the coral gro gropers so we're going to put him uh, one in each fish tank i think can it be house of the angel fish made or damaged three size well he's the only one we've got options on so coral grouper uh, will also eat uh, lots eat fish with size two or less so we have to be careful about that and does tend to grow and then as he grows um, I think the, the, the size of the fish he eats will also go up which is a little distressing I'll uh, put one in there and uh, no right next next is up to me I'm gonna earn a bit of cash fine well, we've earned a bit of cash. I'm not sure which way around that is. I'm going to put the mussels uh, actually just pretty handy. It's going to put them there. No particular reason. All right. So you're being fed. Good. And what is this? It's a size four. It, this one grows, but th this guy, these guys don't grow. He gets up to size 9. I kind of wouldn't mind putting a moray in there as well. I think they'll be okay together. Oh, we need more cave space for them. They don't they don't want to be uh, together. All right, so we're going to just X to sell that. We need more cave space for them. We actually get other decorations later on. There we go. So a little bit more cave space for the moray and the groper. And lots of science should be generated now. You guys are all pretty happy. Oh, water quality is low here. That's okay. We know what to do about that. We'll give you a power filter. And everything's fine. The water quality there was dropping because he was growing. And as he grows, the quality does, does drop. So we're going to have that all solved and fixed. I think we're looking at earning a bunch of fame. Okay, so we've got a... Okay, we'll look at that pump in a second. So I do... I'm actually conscious that this is a little... A little ugly here. There we go. We'll just file in some of this stuff. And not rubble. That's too big. And some small rocks. We've got to decorate to get the maximum kind of happy, happy peasants that are watching our fish down here as well. Where are you? Get some eel grass in there. And I don't know. Over here. Maybe some small rocks and a maybe a bit of a driftwood log there we go and that guy's happy over there so those are pretty cool fish tanks doing pretty great now which tank tank six is a bit low so this is when i can probably well i should maybe use my wonderful basic pumps this is kind of cool so i can put this over here connect it to this and then i can move these things and they will do uh, the job of uh, as long as they're connected to the side of this pump they'll help so put another power filter here and then he's happy and later on i can get double sized ones that will look after two tanks at once which is good you can tuck away uh, your sort of your your fish support stuff in another corner while your tank is sort of more accessible for the public to check out which is which is very pleasant for them do I need anything else around here? I might put a tool station in. And... Actually, what, is, what does he eat? Mussels. Oh, these guys both eat mussels. So that's fine. And in here, we haven't got any fish yet. We're waiting for this research task to complete. And I'll chuck a fish in there. All by himself. And that's that's fine. He can suck it up. They're being repaired. we got workmen out. 
I don't see... Oh, temperature's a bit low there. That's fine. We'll sort you out. I think a basic heater will be okay. Yeah, it seems to have done the trick. Again, maybe I should have cut out a bit more room and set up more stuff. It means I can easily pack more tanks together. And I think that probably helps to get better you know, perspectives around your fish tank. Okay, so the grouper has grown. And now he can eat up to size 3. So yeah, you've got to be a bit careful with that. He's grown, eats up to size 3. So those two are both growing in sync. Which is good. We unlocked an angelfish. And we're going to drop this guy. No, oh, okay, yes, we've got the combi thingamabobby. So, where's my angelfish? Doesn't like his other buddies. Will eat stuff and takes green food. But he doesn't eat other... So, I'm going to leave him there. He doesn't eat other types of uh, himself. This is a wimp. Now, is the angelfish a bully? No, he just doesn't like his own type. So, I think we can put some of these. We've got none of these. we got... Really? we got none of those types at all? I find that hard to believe, but... Okay, yeah, no, that seems okay. We'll go for four of them. Yeah, so we have one, two, three, four, five. And... Oh, any other fish? Orchid dotty back. All right, sure, stick some of them in as well. Now it's going to be a beautiful tank. Why have we got no black... Bar soldier fish tank is full. How big are you, soldier fish? You're not going to grow though. That's what I'm worried about. Our tank is full. I don't want to put you in with the more. That would end very badly for you. Actually, what I'm going to do is take out one of these guys. So we'll sell that one. Then we should be able to put the soldier fish in. Yeah, I think that'll be okay. He doesn't like bright lights. We've got no bright lights, lights in there. All right, we've basically got one of everything. So that should be max gains. I'm all about max gains. We will conquer this aquarium with our... Put some more food in. There we go. Conquer out this aquarium with our maximum brilliance in our beautiful fish tank. They're all coming to look at it. A um, bit more seagrass, maybe. Yeah, look at that. All that science is being generated for no use. The money is there. We're cracking along with the growth reward. So we're doing okay. Hooray, we've done it, I think. Yes, that pump thing. We worked out that. Well done, me. So we build a tank with a... Oh, we need to build a lagoon tank. So now is definitely a good time to expand this out. And lagoon tanks are cool. I like them. They're, they're very large. And let's just pause this for a second and take this wall out. And then put this in. And a door. Oh, staff door. Okay, so. A lagoon tank. A pump. At least right, three tiles away. Yeah, we're going to do that. It's very easy for us. Yes, and we need to get the water quality up. So that's going to be a power filter. And I suspect a... So we can actually get a power combi like this. And you know what? I think it would be more efficient to sell that and then to put in another power combi. Yes, that, that looks pretty good. Any animal. Uh, sufficient heating and all that kind of stuff. So we need to put in stuff first before the game will assess whether or not we have achieved that so let's get our decorations and a little bit of rubble helps the water quality um a bit of sea lettuce could do with some lettuce right now probably probably be a good idea to eat more of that but for now we're just going to sort these guys out beautiful more sea lettuce um i don't know we're just lettuce crazy that's fine leave a little gap in case something pops up that i want to build um, I quite like the soldier fish. He was cool, so we'll definitely put a couple of them in. Oh, right, yes, okay, thirsty guests. So we're going to just put some more fish in first. How were you? You were definitely a little short on a very simple fish as well to maintain. You're a bit difficult because you grow and you're going to eat things. 
You seem okay, so I'll put a couple of you in. You again are a pain. You are a happy fish. Put you in. Did I already do that? I'm not sure. Cannot be housed with others. Will eat stuff. Which one do we want of you special bully nasty fish? We don't want a bully. No, you won't be housed with yourself, but you won't either. But we can put one of you in there. All right. I think, oh wow, look, they love it. They're in love with my fish. That, that's good. Um, we'll put the fish food near here so that they can. And I'm just going to make sure we've got one of each as well as a tool station. And we need to build some, start, some, yeah, some of these facilities. So I think what we'll do is just do back to back like that and a bench um, one two yeah all right rank up give me that next level rocky overhang kelp and more things to research oh and crabs yay we get we get crabs that's good i suppose a support animal doesn't need feeding actual actually provides additional filtering but he's a He's a scavenger, so he doesn't need food, but he's a crustacean. Okay, so we have more rewards and plans coming. Okay, so we get to do some research. Uh, I don't know. Let's go for the crab. Come on, little crabby. And a large filter. That'll be good, like a two-size filter. I think that's going to be excellent. So if these guys get any issues, oh, we probably almost certainly need a whole new staff member. Feeding, fixing, fixing, feeding. We'll go with that one. And everyone's looking pretty happy. No more benches required. I think we're okay on those things. Now, arguably, we could do with some kelp. Like this deep pool will handle that. I might just sell off one of those. Whichever one that is, put some kelp in because it uh, is more prettier than the other types of plants. There we go. So it's good for the deep pools, those deep lagoon pools. Cool. That's trucking along really well. How far away are we? Oh, we've got a message. Okay, we found some decorations. Okay. Do you want to let me know? Sure, I'll, I'll take those off your hands. Okay, we're going to need a whole new tank for that. And what else is it? Oh, we've got to receive decorations. Uh, so I guess we can just put this in a tank. Is there any tank which has... Well, is there any tank which has any room? I think this one does. Oh, not that one, maybe. Uh, take uh, this. No. Oh my gosh, we're going to have to find some room. Okay, let's pick some more research. It might be time just to build another whole tank. So, the longhorn cowfish, it's a, what is it? It's a, can't be housed with a bully. It acts as extra size larger when it's out there. Uh, the reef squirrel fish might be easiest. So, it could be time for yet another. Yeah, I might just put another lagoon pool in. Yeah, I think that might be quite fun. So let's just grow this out again and get another lagoon tank and again uh, the wall oh come here and I think what we're gonna do is kit out this tank with a with a beautiful little crab and some other decorations in the next episode. Until then, I've been Tiny Pirate. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this episode of Mega Aquarium. This will be available on Steam on the 13th of September 2018. You can check in my uh, description of the video and you'll be able to watch all of that unfold. And look, he's a beautiful moray ale, isn't he? He looks delicious. Slightly terrifying, but also delicious. Good night.